Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make this galaxy themed tumbler. Um, it's super awesome, it's super easy and simple and totally out of this world. So keep watching and I'll show you how it's done. You'll wanna make sure you have some alcohol inks and some foam sponges. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is cover the logo on your cup. You can do this whichever way you like. Um, the way I like to do it is I just use a piece of clear transfer tape, stick it over the logo, and then cut around it with an X-Acto knife. Now for the fun part. You wanna make sure that your alcohol inks are mixed if they need to be mixed and ready to go. Now what you'll want to do is put a couple drops on your little um, mixing palette or directly onto the sponge, whichever you prefer. Um, but you don't want to put too much because the alcohol ink actually dries fairly quickly. Um, so once you've uh, dropped it, you'll dip into it and start applying it to your cup. There is no right or wrong way to do this. Um, if you're watching, you can see that I'm kind of just randomly spotting the cup in different places. So now I'm getting the next two colors ready. I'm using a purple and a really pretty magenta color. Um, I also got these at Michael's. I will put the brand name and colors down below. I like to add white into my colors just to make them more pastel and make the colors more fun. So basically what I'm doing now is just going back in with my second and third colors and covering any spots that don't have any ink on them. So I know that right now my cup just looks like this big old mess, but trust me, as you go in and dab with the different colors, they start to blend together and um, just blend out really nicely. So just keep at it, trust me, you've got this. I won't bore you with the process because I'm literally just dabbing the whole time. So I'll fast forward this part. And no, I don't mean dabbing like this. Don't forget the bottom. Just remember, you don't need as much ink for the bottom as you do for the cup because the surface area is much smaller. And you've probably already noticed by now, I've been using the same sponge the entire time. I just think it's neat because the colors kind of mix together in the sponge and they make unique colors, which then transfer onto your cup. Now that we're happy with our cup, we'll go in and remove the sticker we put over the logo. You find that you got alcohol ink on the logo, it's an easy fix. You can just take some alcohol, wet a Q-tip or a paper towel, and just wipe it off. you're done you'll just want to make sure to dry the area that way any excess alcohol doesn't drip down onto your cup now it's time to apply some epoxy so the glitter i'll be using is from the recollections brand at michael's it's called magical it's like a really pretty mix of blues and purples now i'm just gonna prep my epoxy so the epoxy that I use calls for equal parts. So for this cup, I did five mLs of part A and five mLs of part B. But every epoxy is different. So you just wanna make sure that you read the instructions on yours to make sure you're mixing it correctly. So I did speed up the video so that way you're not watching me mix forever. So I know that it looks like I'm mixing really fast, but you actually wanna mix your epoxy slow. That way you don't get so many air bubbles. Now that my epoxy is ready to go, I'm gonna add the glitter directly into my epoxy. Since this is a galaxy themed cup, I thought it would be fun to add some black holographic stars. They're these four point stars that I found on Etsy. How amazing this combination of glitters is, you guys. I absolutely love it. Now we're just gonna go in and mix the glitter into the epoxy. I'm 
I'm so sorry, I didn't realize the video was blurry and out of focus, um, but you can kind of see what I'm doing, I hope. <laughs> so basically what I'm doing is I am just adding the epoxy onto my cup. Um, you can epoxy whichever way you like. Um, if you've seen me, you know, on Instagram or on my other videos, you know that I like to epoxy from top to bottom. And as always, don't forget to pop those bubbles. So here's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and um, comment down below what you want to see next. Because without you guys, I mean, I can post whatever I want, but... I want to know what you want to see. Thank you. And as always, happy crafting. <laughs>